Jody and Jill Whitlock are taking a stroll with their dog Moose. It's only a hundred yards, but it seems like miles compared to what Jody could do before. Oh no, eight feet. Eight feet was it. Jody's heart wasn't functioning correctly. A valve was too narrow and he just didn't have any energy. It started about a year ago. And uh, in March I was in the hospital all but four days. I, I couldn't get out of bed and walk to the bathroom without being completely exhausted. One day he was rushed to the cardiac unit in an ambulance. It was bad enough that, that they hauled me out of dialysis one day with the ambulance and my wife and I said our goodbyes in the waiting room because I didn't think I was going to make it. The normal procedure would have been open heart surgery, but because of other health concerns, it wasn't an option. I wouldn't have survived the crack in the chest. It wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to survive it. This, this was the only way I could go. And if they couldn't do this, I was, I was done for. Doctors agreed the best procedure would push a small catheter into Jody's leg, which would lead into the main artery. A new man-made valve is crimped to the size of a pencil and inserted into the leg eventually making its way to the heart. Cardiologists then precisely positioned a new valve that would expand and replace his defective one. It's a team effort that monitors all functions of the heart, and the results are almost instantaneous. Today, Jody is feeling much better. Yeah, I can't go a long ways, but I can walk the dog for a little ways and, and do stuff way better than I could before. Jody had a follow-up appointment with his cardiologist soon after the procedure. When I went to see him at that first time, I walked in and sat down, and. When he came in and saw how good I looked, he started smiling and shook my hand and he sat down and, and I thanked him for saving my life. And uh, he said, things like this make everything worthwhile. He said, this is why we do this. We're just thankful every day for coming and all the yep. people there. It's yep. so amazing compared to the other hospitals he's been in. I think you couldn't get better care than that. I think it's just the real deal. These people are genuine, they care about you. It's estimated that 25,000 people die from aortic stenosis each year. Jody is one of over 2 million Americans who have it. I think every day is a new day. Every morning that I wake up, I thank God I'm still here because I probably wouldn't be if it wouldn't been for that procedure. Covenant Healthcare has three alternative treatments for high-risk heart patients. Find out more at covenanthealthcare.com and click on Specialties and Services and then Cardiology.